investing the case. The only difference between the two halves is the smaller holes in the top half. The holes allow air bubbles to escape. In the first step of the process, lubricate the two halves of the flask. Next, invest the wax case in the lower half of the flask using yellow stone. When the stone sets, grind off any areas that would be an undercut. Sprewing First, a bullet-shaped piece of wax is created and placed in the channel on the flask. With hot wax, seal it in place. Using 3 16 utility wax, place the sprues making sure you taper the end that is to be placed on the appliance. For most cases, three sprues will be enough. For smaller cases, one or two sprues. Finishing the investing process. Place a stone separator on the lower half of the stone that is already invested. Put the upper and lower half together and screw the bolts in place. Notice the bullet shaped piece of wax now fills the channel. This will keep the stone from leaking. Using CDM Dental's investing stone, pour up the top half of the flask. Because of the liquid nature of CDM Dental's investing stone, no vibration is required. Just a few taps on the counter will bring all of the bubbles out of the stone. Boiling out. Once the stone is set, place the flask in boiling water for about 10 minutes. After boiling is completed, separate the flask and eliminate all wax and trimming of any flash that could break off and mix into the appliance. Heat up flask. If the flask has cooled down before it is time to inject, set an oven for about 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and preheat flask for 15 minutes.